Hello everybody, Chris here, and in this short LibreOffice Writer tutorial, I'd like to show you how to use wizards and templates within the program. So, wizards and templates can be found in the file menu that's in the top left-hand corner of LibreOffice Writer. And if we scroll down a bit past New, Open, and Close to Wizards and Templates, that's where they are located at. Uh, as you can see, templates also have a shortcut, Control, Shift, and N at the same time in order to access the templates. Uh, but before we go ahead and try one of these out, the difference between wizards and templates. Uh, templates basically give you a dummy document which have fields of information which have, I mean, been given fake information to, and you can edit that information, replace it with your own or your company's. So, for instance, if it has name listed somewhere, it might say first name, last name. You replace that with your first name and last name. Uh, but the real purpose of the template is to basically set you up with a pre-formatted document so that a lot of the grunt work about laying things out and making it look nice is already done for you. With a wizard, it basically will present you with a list of steps to go through, and as you fill out those steps, it's going to be automatically filling information in the background. Um, basically, the wizard is creating a template as you fill in the fields for these uh, six or seven or so steps. And then at the end of those steps, uh, you can save that as a template and edit it as if it was a template. So let's go ahead and start off with a letter wizard, clicking there. Basically, we'll pull up this new template document and give us six steps that we can fill out. So, for instance, um, the first step is choosing the page design. Do we want this letter to be formatted as a business letter, a formal personal letter, or a informal personal letter? I suppose we'll go ahead and use it as a page design uh, business letter, and maybe we'll change this back to elegant. Uh, as you can see, the difference here is that it changed the header a little bit for us. And uh, I like that, so we can go to the next step. Select the items to be printed. You can choose for basically all these things on the page whether or not you want them to show in your letter. So for instance, if you have a logo, you can check logo and then you can change the logo later on. If for some reason you don't want a subject line, you can uncheck that and the subject basically gets removed from the letter. Uh, likewise, you can remove the footer as well, kind of up to you which uh, aspects of the document you want. Next is recipient and sender. You can uh, specify a new sender address and basically manually type in the information for your address as I've kind of done here beforehand. Or you can use the user data for a return address. That's something you can set up within LibreOffice and then basically as you're logged in as the user, Chris or whoever you are, um, it'll basically just take your default information and put it there. So that's kind of useful as well. Um, with recipient address, you can either use placeholders as seen here, or you can use the address database within OpenOffice. Uh, but we'll get into that in a future video. So we'll just use placeholders for recipient address for now. Okay, then there's the footer information. You can put whatever you want here. I've just got a copyright down here, and this isn't a real copyright, by the way. That's just some random information that I wanted to type there in order to demonstrate this. And uh, you can choose if you want to include the page number or to include the uh, footer only on the second and following pages, as in remove it from the first page. It's up to you. Finally, uh, step six is to save the template, essentially. So you can specify a template name, Chris template. Let's go with that. Location and file name for the template, which you can bring up in a dialog, a save as dialog specifically. And then finally, do you want to create a letter from this template or do you want to make manual changes to this letter template? So if you make changes to the template, then you're editing what creating new letters out of this template is going to be like in the future. Basically, this is a base. Do you want to create a letter from the base that doesn't edit the base, or do you want to edit the base so that it changes all future letters? Hope that makes a little bit of sense. We'll just create a letter from this template here. Hit finish. Uh, okay, actually, one thing to note is uh, if you already have a template there, you want to change the save name. 
so that you don't accidentally overwrite an old one. So that's taken care of. Uh, but yeah, we'll go ahead and create a letter from this template. Okay, save the template. And uh, now we have a base letter that's basically already been formatted for us. The main thing is uh, that all these sections have been predefined. And uh, all we need to do is edit them with our own information. So next up, we're going to go into templates for LibreOffice Writer. You can find templates once again in the file menu or hitting control shift N on your keyboard. So manage. And as you can see, if you already have a document that's open, you can save that as a template that you can open and edit in the future uh, without basically editing the original document. So manage here to look at your templates. And uh, here I'll go back to the all templates folder so that you can see all that are available to you. You got four categories here, documents, spreadsheets, presentations, and draw. Um, this actually refers to the four or five different parts of the LibreOffice suite. So documents are going to be opened in LibreOffice Writer. Spreadsheets are for Calc. Presentations are for Inspire, I believe it's called. And then drawings are for LibreOffice Draw. Um, but here we're going to focus on LibreOffice Writer. So these templates are basically dummy documents that we can open up and edit within LibreOffice Writer. So for instance, a business correspondence, uh, kind of like a letter that we were creating in the wizard, we can select one of these templates, um, let's say modern business letter, go ahead, double click it to open it up as a new document using that template. And you can see we have a lot of these different dummy fields that we would need to edit before we actually send it forth as a final uh, letter that's actually basically ready to be received by the business recipient. Um, but basically, it's already pre-formatted for you. All you need to do, type your letter down here, put in your information, your company name, double click the uh, image here to put in your own logo and set the uh, information for your recipient as well. Change your date and uh, start typing, finishing it off with your name again at the bottom. Uh, and basically the idea here is that it saves you a lot of time. So if you want to create a letter and maybe you're not the best at formatting letters or you just want to get something done quickly, you can use a template, one that you've already created or one that someone else has created in order to get a head start on creating your letter. So it's a time saver. Now one last thing about templates. If we go back to templates and manage, you can actually get more templates from offline by hitting this get more templates for LibreOffice button. So I'll go ahead and hit that here. And it brings us to templates.libreoffice.org. So here we can see uh, extensions and templates. Extensions are kind of like uh, plugins or modifications for the LibreOffice suite itself, but templates are basically documents that we can edit and use for our LibreOffice documents. So categories, we could say budget templates, and then we're going to get a huge drop down list of budget templates that we can download and add to LibreOffice Writer. And uh, this is probably kind of important to you because um, Although there are a few templates inside of LibreOffice Writer by default, really most of them and a lot of the good ones are going to be located online. So go ahead, check out templates.libreoffice.org if you're looking for some other ones. And you can get there from the templates manager just by hitting this button over here on the right. So that's the basics of using the wizard and templates inside of LibreOffice Writer. I hope this helped you out. I've been Chris. Thank you for watching. Feel free to check out my Patreon and I'll see you in my future videos.